the will of the Lord. But they would not listen to the voice of their father, for it was the will of the Lord to put them to death. 1 Samuel 2.25 The sons of Eli the priest would not obey their father when he rebuked them for their sin. There are three implications of this text for our lives. One, it is possible to sin so long and so grievously that the Lord will not grant repentance. As it says of Esau in Hebrews 12:17, he found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears. He was forsaken, he could not repent. This does not mean that those who truly repent, even after a whole lifetime of sinning, cannot be saved. They certainly can be and will be. God is staggeringly merciful. Remember the thief on the cross. Two, sometimes God does not permit a sinning person to do what is right. Listening to the voice of their father was the right thing to do, but they would not. Why? For it was the will of the Lord to put them to death. The reason given for why they did not obey their father was that God had other purposes for them and had given them up to sinning and death. 3. Sometimes our prayers for God's revealed will to be done will not be done because God has decreed something different for holy and wise purposes. When something like this happens, while we are crying out to God for change, the answer of God is not, I don't love you. Rather, the answer is, I have wise and holy purposes in not overcoming this sin and not granting repentance. You do not see these purposes now. Trust me, I know what I am doing. I love you. This is the will of the Lord.